Hello, this is Cindy Wu from Princeton University. In this talk, I will present our work, Pixel Map, Cross-Model Retrieval for Inferring Stream Maps from Images. This work was done by me, Guanfeng, Francesco, Alyosha, and Deva. We introduced a simple but effective method for inferring topological roadmaps from images. Previous works usually would learn a nonlinear mapping from image pixels to bird's eye view maps, and then based on the detected learned markings to estimate the road layout by generating a discrete spatial graph. This is challenging because learning to map continuous pixels to discrete graphs with different number of nodes and topology in BEV is difficult. Our key insight is that this problem can be posed as a cross-model retrieval by learning a joint cross-model embedding space for image and existing maps. And the maps can be represented as discrete uh, graphs that encode the topological layout of the visual surroundings. Our main results show that our method significantly improved over several soda baselines. To solve the K challenge, how to map images to discrete graphs, pixel map returns the graph with the embedding most similar to input image via cross-model retrieval. We construct the graph encoder inspired by transformer architecture, and our encoder treats LAN nodes as a collection of tokens and edges as masks for attention processing. The graph encoder computes a graph embedding vector for each stream map in a bench. And the image encoder outputs an image embedding for corresponding image stack. And then we build a similarity matrix that contrasts the image and graph embeddings. We note that the adjacency matrix of a given graph is used as the attention mask for our transformer-based graph encoder. Then the mapping boils down to cross-model retrieval between uh, encoding images and graphs in terms of cosine similarity. Our loss function is defined with three parts. With contrastive loss penalizes all incorrect image graph pairs equally, and it's computed as a weighted combination of the image to graph loss and graph to image loss, average over all positive uh, image graph pairs in each mini-batch. And the cosine similarity between image and graph is defined as R from here. We further compute the chamfer distance between each vertex and its closest match in terms of Euclidean distance between vertices. We also use a binary cross entropy loss, edge loss, between the ground truth binary adjacency matrix E0 and the permutated uh, matrix EI. For evaluation, we use Argoverse dataset, which provides seven ring camera images with 360 degree coverage, and the three maps are captured uh, the geometry and connectivity of Rome lens for both Pittsburgh and Miami. Moreover, we train Pixel Map uh, with a single front view to ensure consistent comparisons to baselines. And importantly, even in this setting, our method still outperforms baselines by a large margin. Our cross-model retrieval significantly outperforms classical uh, unimodal retrieval, for example, the nearest neighbor on image encoder features. It can exploit the graph embedding space, which appears to regularize retrieval results, while the unimodal approach does not utilize any graph embeddings. As we grow the graph retrieval library, including maps without corresponding image views, we observe the performance grows consistently with the size of the retrieval library. And here we show some qualitative results. From left to right, we have input image, ground truth maps, maps generated by soda method, and in the last column, our method. As we can say, the retrieved, method, uh, the, the retrieved maps with our method have the highest visual fidelity. For downstream applications, we use our graph uh, retrieval methods to mimic map expansion and map update. For map expansion, 
we retrieve local graphs corresponding to recordings obtained in this new traversal to uh, expand the existing map. And for map updates, we similarly retrieve the local maps to update the global map. In general, retrieval results are quite accurate, particularly for this map update where train and test samples are drawn from the same geographic regions. In inclement weather such as heavy rain uh, situation is challenging due to the degraded visual signal. For visual localization, we use the cosine similarities of retrieved graphs to generate a heat map of possible Eagle Velcro locations over a city level map, showing the locations where uh, there are corresponding graphs assigned a high likelihood relative to the ground truth location shown as a red dot. Our method demonstrates great visual localization ability based on visual and geometric understanding. Lastly, about map to pix The goal of map to pix is to retrieve this eagle camera images given a stream map. Such image retrieval could be useful for simulator-based uh, training and validation of autonomous stacks. A single straight geometry can retrieve multiple consistent realistic image. Thank you. Please scan our website or paper for more information. Thank you.